Kia ora and welcome to Lady Parker Wine Reviews. I have a very special wine with me this evening to show you all. It is a very highly accoladed one and one that will, I guarantee, continue to win those accolades. Now, New Zealand is producing some very exciting things. As we know, there's some newer things like Gruner Valtliner coming into the foray in the industry. And uh, I think also one of the other very exciting things that's happening at the moment is in the North Island in Hawke's Bay where the producers are experimenting a little bit with Syrah and coming up with some spectacular things. Now I want to focus tonight, to, tonight on two, well, one producer, which is a husband and wife team, Warren Gibson and Lorraine Lenny, and they are producing Balanchia wines. Now they're focusing particularly on Syrah, but they also do a little bit of Pinot Gris, but they're just pouring their heart and soul into emulating a cool climate northern Rhone style of Syrah which is just in my mind is an elixir of bliss it is absolutely lovely when you get it right and it can be a very pure expression of fruit with lots of savory interest and complexity so I'm very lucky to be able to taste with you the new release of Balanchia the La Colina which has just won the Cuisines uh, got top honours at the Cuisines annual tasting of New Zealand Syrah, so declared New Zealand's best Syrah, and there, uh, the Blanche's other Syrah actually got second place as well, so there you go, you can't do much better than that, can you? So this is the Blanche, really quite a ne neat, unique label, Blanche symbolising balance, um, and on the back there you've got the, the label, the back label, La Colina, which means the hill, so this is a hillside single vineyard, 100% uh, Syrah, Spends about 21 months in oak. It's a, it's their flagship, uh, so you're expecting to pay a little uh, more for the for the price point. But because it's emulating Northern Rhone, you're going to be paying far less than some of those high end producers. Though it is in that echelon of high end Northern Rhone, which is fantastic. It's exceptional to see. I think we should get this tasting underway and have a try. So pouring out in the glass there. Oh yeah, it's a gorgeous deep ruby red colour, as you can see there, beautiful. One of the most exciting things to think about this wine, this release is that it's under screw cap, it's their flagship $95 retail price point, red Syrah and their bottling under screw cap which is fantastic, it gives confidence to um, and dispels the myth that high-end wines should not be bottled under screw cap. It is the best closure because they do allow some oxygen ingression into the into the wine and it's at the tight end of the cork spectrum. So the best cork is going to be a tight cork. These screw cap closures have that range of oxygen ingression. But I'm digressing. So back to the wine. Mm. Yeah, that is cool climate Syrah. It's beautiful. Loads of black pepper. Also, the, your lovely primary fruit expression of plum, dark plum, Doris plum. Mm. There's no discernible whole bunch character, which I guess um, differentiates it from Northern Rhone. A lot of Northern Rhone producers do have some whole bunch character, which gives it an almost bovril, uh, vegemite, savoury sort of note, and it's often a bit of resiny sort of note as well to it. It's almost got a caramel sort of character as well, sort of caramelised note, which is lovely. And the slightest amount of nice reduction, which um, is often described as a negative pejorative term with wine appreciation. But if it's done right, um, you, you, it can be often a lovely meaty note that, like almost bacon, that can be uh, discerned in... And particularly Syrah goes very, very well. Mmm. Gorgeous. On the palette. Mmm. You've got concentration and elegancy on the palette. A really nice acid balance. And a great handling of the oak. It's been 21 months in oak barrels. French oak. Uh, the fantastic thing is it's got no brett. <laughs> which is a little different to some of the high-end producers that you would find in, sadly, in Northern Rhone, though there are, that's not to say there are not good, not good Northern Rhone Syrahs, because there are, you've got producers like Gangloff and Jamais and uh, Clap Cornas. So, 
um, I think it's in those the echelon of the, of the high northern rounds that um, are just exquisite. They're what you keep on drinking wine and discovering wine for. So I would say it's got, it's got a touch of warmth. Um, it's about 14.5% alcohol, which which is an indicator, a marker that there's a more New World style along the Australian's New World style of Syrah. But all in all, that's because it deserves all its accolades that it's been receiving and I guarantee that it's going to be getting more of those to come. So there you are, that's the La Colina Balan Syrah from Balancia and uh, I hope you are able to try a bottle of some of the fantastic, exciting Syrahs that are coming out of Hawke's Bay in New Zealand. Thanks for watching Nettie Parker Wine Reviews and have a lovely evening. Good night.